क्लास फोर साइंस चैप्टर वन प्लांट्स द प्रोड्यूसर्स आर एनवायरमेंट इंक्लूड्स लिविंग थिंग्स एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स इन द लिविंग थिंग्स वी हैव प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स इंक्लूड एयर वाटर रॉक्स एंड मिनरल्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट प्लांट्स Chapter One, Plants the Producers. Green plants make their own food. Plants make their food in their leaves. They are also called the food factory of a plant. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the green substance present in the leaves that traps the energy from the sunlight. Parts of a leaf. The broad flat part of a leaf is called lamina or leaf plate. There are many tube-like structures on the leaf called veins. The main thick vein running through the middle of the leaf is called the midrib. Veins are tube-like structures which carry water and food. This picture shows parts of a leaf. The tip of the leaf is called the leaf apex. The part of the leaf that is attached to the stem or branch is called the leaf stalk. A plant breathes through stomata which are usually present on the underside of the leaf. Stomata takes in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen and water vapor. This is a picture of stomata. carbon dioxide from air enters the leaf through stomata and oxygen and water comes out after photosynthesis from these pores functions of leaf leaves make food by the process of photosynthesis leaves help the plant to breathe through stomata green leaves prepare food for the plant with carbon dioxide from air water and minerals from soil in the presence of sunlight this process by which green plants make their food is called as photosynthesis the word photosynthesis means photo means sunlight and synthesis means putting together The food or sugar made by leaf is used by plants for growth and repair. The extra food is stored as starch in different parts of the plant such as leaves, roots, stems, fruits and seeds. The some of the parts where plants store their food for example roots stems leaves fruits and seeds we can check the presence of starch in food by adding few drops of iodine solution when iodine comes in contact with starch it turns blue black interdependence of plants and animals plants and animals depend on one another Animals depend on plants for food and oxygen. Plants also use carbon dioxide given out by plants to prepare the food. The energy from the sun is transferred to the animals and human beings as they eat the food prepared by green plants. Thus there is a flow of energy from the sun to the plants. then flow to animals and humans plants animals help maintain the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in nature a drastic reduction in the number of plants or animals will disturb the balance hence we need to protect both plants and animals thank you